Hello friends, good week. How are you today? Well, uh, first of all, let's begin with uh, congratulations and big congratulations to Barcelona for uh, winning this uh, Champions, Euro Champions League, uh, Europe Champions League actually, uh, during this year. And I guess no one can say that they don't deserve it. And I am, as a Manchester United fan, also admit that they deserve uh, this win. And congratulations, Via Barcelona. Uh, it's a happy, happy day for every uh, football, soccer uh, fan, actually, because it was a fantastic game and the best team won. So uh, this is a good beginning. For a good start, actually, for um, this week. And what about our Forex world, friend? So, um, first of all, uh, as I've mentioned on the last two weeks, we are not uh, on easy period on the market. Why not? Because the market is waiting for Bernanke in June. And until then, the market will continue zigzagging up and down, up and down, again and again and again. But uh, until then, let's see what do we have and what opportunities will we have during probably during the next uh, week and maybe even weeks. Well, le that's the fourth uh, pair I would like to show and uh, talk about dollar Canadian. Right, dollar Canadian. This is the downtrend line. We were waiting all week, all last week for a break up. But watch how uh, sideways it was uh, actually during the last previous week. You can see the up and down, up and down. Let's see the intraday, how it was the intraday move, so you can understand. You see that? Few falls breaks up and few falls down. Nothing special happened yet. And the market still sideways in, in, in the same levels. Well, the la it looks like after these dodges, right? It looks like after these dodges and uh, the last kind of inverted hammer, we are going down. But 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 uh, it could be uh, exactly the opposite sign uh, for the uh, possible break up. And uh, if it breaks this level up. If it breaks this level up, uh, I believe, as I told, uh, told not once, that this pair is going to reach 0.99 and maybe even the parity level, which is the next serious resistance. So watch this possible break up, and for the down move, for the down move, I would like forced to see a good uh, breakdown of this uptrend line just right here of this uptrend line and a break below the 20 moving average of the daily Bollinger Band only then I would uh, consider a possible down move that's about dollar Canadian let's see the next pair which would be the euro dollar well what was not uh, <laughs> said about the euro dollar let me just erase this uh, lines here. Uh, on the previous week, we were discussing a, a possible down move. 140.40 is first target. 139 plus a second target. It was reached. It never reached the 200 moving average. Well, uh, well actually, I was expected per, uh, personally uh, and retraced even before. And now the euro dollar stuck on the 20 moving average of the daily move of the daily Bollinger band plus it's also a resistance area just right here so what could happen from here anything friend anything let's go for the four hour chart it looks bullish it does look bullish but no one can guarantee that this resistance 143.30 would be broken during the fourth attempt actually with this up move it could be but no one can guarantee it. And if we go even for the one hour chart, what can we see? There is a triangle, there is a wedge actually, there is a wedge and a wedge <coughs> that come with divergence of the MACD, we could see easily a retrace down. 
so uh, as long as 143 holded I consider a, a new a neutral I consider a neutral uh, position I don't see any opportunities to take the euro as for right now it still holds very critical levels which the level which is by the way divergent and if we take a look on the weekly chart on the weekly chart then we can see that it has stopped on the uh, 20 moving average of the weekly Bollinger Band and retraced up a little bit now pay attention that the hidden diversion still was not created <coughs> so it could be easily just a flag here just a flag before the next break down so nothing is guaranteed on the euro until 143.30 yet hold if this level will be broken then I believe we are going for the next resistance once again 145.80 at least and maybe even higher during the next uh, the next day the next weeks but once again friends during such period in the market make sure your positions are your risks are lower than usual all right so that's about uh, the euro dollar what about the british pound against the us dollar well this pair flight up uh, and retraced powerfully here just closed once again little before the 200 moving average and uh, it should be uh, continued up if we take a look on the weekly chart <coughs> then the weekly chart still divergent still divergent here by the way but it does look bearish long run so would it happen what's going on all right it's, go it's better my, my, my uh, <laughs> meta trader went crazy a little bit so uh, if the last high will be broken then of course we are going uh, more higher as the investor expected 175 that's about the British pound but what about the short term on the short term there is a resistance that hold it as you can see there is a resistance hold it as you can see someone on my Skype and uh, if when this resistance is broken we can take we can talk about the next possible up move but once again as soon as, as was shown on the euro right and also here we can see a divergence a powerful divergence long run divergence that could retrace this pair down how will we join it well we have few we have a, a uptrend here once this uptrend line will be broken this could lead for a correction <coughs> it could lead for a correction but uh, let's see how this uh, week begins if this uptrend line broken is broken on the one hour chart so we I believe we're going back to 140 164 and maybe 163 uh, uh, 60 and then 163 20 but first once again we have to see this line being broken by the way if we examine uh, it's on extreme level that once again look how extreme it is look on all this area look how chucked the uh, stochastic MTF is together with the Bollinger Bands look how close it is for this of you who wonder uh, what uh, template it is it's a Zoop 83 of a, a harmonic pattern. You can find it anywhere on the uh, on the net. So that's about the uh, British pound dollar. I personally believe we are going to see nice correction for, uh, during the beginning of the week, but a possible break up uh, could take a place during the the uh, the next days of the week, not the beginning. Let's see, and we will examine how it continues to work. The next pair that is possible for an up move is the euro, the dollar yen, friends. And let me just erase these lines. We can see that the 
uh, this resistance and the upper boundary of the Bollinger Bands hold it. Now this uptrend line is broken, right? This uptrend line is broken. <coughs> so it looks, sorry, it looks like we are going see a down move for the dollar yen. The weekly chart also looks bearish despite of the divergence. It looks like the MACD wants to go down. I just want to remind you, <coughs> sorry, I want to remind you that the investors are still bearish for this pair. We target with uh, 75 and 72 and the, for the future. That's for the dollar yen. The stop has to be placed above this resistance. The fourth level to be tested is the previous support, and the second target could be uh, trailed with the investors' target. I move forward for the Euro, for the Aussie dollar, friend. I was talking about this triangle just right here. This triangle was broken. Was broken. All looks bullish now for the Euro, for the Australian dollar. Sorry. 105, the level that I talked on the previous week as the level that has to be broken to take this pair up. Hold it a few times in a row and then Australian dollar retraced up. All look bullish yet now. But the only last thing I would like to see just right now on the Australian dollar is a close above 107, which is the a short term resistance which also holds just right here that's the resistance which also holds the 20 moving average of the daily chart once this level is broken we are going up for 108 109 that's the levels and uh, it could be very very uh, soon it could be during the beginning of the week for the down move, I still want to see break of 105 and daily close below this level. Um, if, it, if it happens, 102 would be the target. What about the New Zealandian friends? Let's examine this pair. <coughs> it's, that's the daily chart broken up, but pay attention for this. It now reaches the all time, you see, all time high. Will it continue up? Very, 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 very possible. Very, very possible uh, that it, it will break this level up. If it breaks this level up, I would, uh, I, I, I will actually think we are going all the way to 085 as the investors uh, expected. But on the short term, on the short term chart, that's what we have. We have this resistance and we have actually a, a possible triple top. A possible triple top. So for short term, as, I, as the same as on uh, British pound, uh, US dollar, there is a uptrend line. A break below could lead us for a correction to O. It will be the deeper. It could lead us first to uh, 0820, uh, then 0870, and then 0820. That could be the target if this uptrend line will be broken at the beginning of the week. By the way, uh, on the Aussie dollar, the same situation. The same situation as you can see, as on the euro, as on the pound. As on the New Zealandian, everything could break down and make a correction. So uh, that's the next uh, pair: Euro British Pound, friends. Euro British Pound. That's the one-hour chart. Oops, sorry. On the previous week, I was talking about a stop on the 200 moving average. It did stop. It created an engulfing pattern just right here. It looks like we are going up for this pair. How you can join it? Go for the one hour chart, uh, draw this downtrend line, wait for the break and take it. If you would like to be more conservative, wait for the break above 07, 087, which is the previous resistance. If you
you'd like to be more conservative and take this pair up uh, by the way from the investors they do believe the uh, the euro british pound is going once again to 090 which was considered as a beautiful sell opportunity on the uh, next future then the long run so that's about the euro british pound and now for uh, some more pairs I was talking about uh, British Pound Canadian on the previous weekly review and the break of this line happened we are going up the fourth target reached hope you close the fourth target if you didn't close at the beginning of the week hold for the second possible target 164 that's for the British Pound Canadian about the British Pound Australian the resistance here still hold it. If it will be broken, we are going much longer for 158. 158. So look for a break, or a possible break of this pair. What about commodities and indices? Well, the indices made little change of direction. The breakdown here began begins, <coughs> but it retraced. It retraced immediately. Uh, I must admit it surprised me a little bit because it does look bearish. But we are now having our channel and it could be a bullish flag. A break above and daily close above could take us all the way up. A bearish candle here and we could see a retrace down. On the weekly chart there is still bearish pressure. But once again also on the weekly chart it could be uh, it could be understood as a flag a triple dodgy flag will that will break up and then take our uh, indices uh, way longer for the next leg of a divergence as I've explained around two months or three months ago if it happen we will go to see this leg of divergence being created and uh, probably 1430 level being reached but it's a long run it's a weekly chart so we will still discuss about it a lot about commodities well on the previous week we were talking <laughs> about the gold and if it breaks one uh, it's worth 1513 it's going up it did break it and it's going up and I'm still bullish for the for the gold as long as this uptrend line is holding by the way, we could we could get on the gold a double top here, a divergent double top, a divergent double top. It's daily chart. If it happened, of course, I will update on the blog. It's a possible trade and a possible U-turn from the from these levels. Uh, definitely interesting period ahead of us. Well, uh, and now for a few more Swiss against Japanese yen, friend. It breaks the resistance 94. It broke the resistance 94 and closed above a retrace to retest it, and it could be a good buy for the next all the way for the next target, which would be 96. I do believe we are going up up on this pair once this resistance was broken and the divergence was broken as well, just right here on the RSI downtrend line. The divergence also was broken. It does look bullish. 96 is the next level. Aussie Canadian make the same. Make the same. Right? You see? But the last high still hold it. And the divergence <laughs> sorry, <coughs> is still here. Well, by the way, it's a weekly resistance. It's a weekly resistance just right here. So Aussie Canadian uh, very risky for taking it long. Very risky for taking it long. Uh, if you like risks, try to do it. I prefer to stay out. It does look risky for me. It could easily retrace from here with this divergence and go all the way down. That's all for this week, friends. I hope. By the way, just a uh, uh, last reminder. Oh my God, where it does where do these lines come from? Uh, by the way, just a reminder. Euro yen, the investors are in for a hedge trade. They are long dollar, euro dollar, they are short dollar yen, and they are short euro yen just for a hedge to reduce his risks from both pairs. That's all for this week, friends. 
the levels of the investors for the euro yen are still the same. One tw 120 is the stop, 108 the first target, the second is open. That's all. Thank you very much for, which, uh, for watching this video. Good luck trading this week. Good luck with our possible trades. We see in dollar, Canadian, Aussie dollar, New Zealand dollar, British pound dollar, and euro dollar on the short terms. I dollar yen for a uh, longer trend. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful, fantastic profit week. Profit week. <laughs> Thank you. Yours, Vladimir.